Do you remember the struggle you have if you order licenses in a traditional way? So remember product authorization keys, the pack keys? They are usually sent to your inbox, to your mailbox. And if you are the person in ordering them, then it, they, of course they will be sent to you. But what if the person ordering licenses is not the same as the person installing them? Then the IT guy or the technician has to try to find out where the licenses are and who ordered them. It's kind of a struggle, if you ask me. After this engineer found the person ordering them, then of course he has the email with the product authorization key. Then this person, the engineer, can then use the license to activate it on the Cisco's devices, the Cisco's boxes. But of course this engineer is activating them using his own CCO ID. What happens if this engineer moves to another company? He just takes all the licenses with him. So at a certain point, there is no way that Cisco can tell who has what licenses. Not even the end customer or the reseller is able to do that. And that needs to change. And this change is one license portal, not bound to an engineer or to a, to a person who, who orders the licenses, but rather bound to a company. And that is what we call smart accounts. So smart accounts are coming in two different types and it's very important to understand the two differences and the differences they have. Every reseller we have or is, is, is working with Cisco equipment needs to have a reseller account, which is kind of normal, I think. So this reseller holding account is there for temporarily storing the licenses after buying them. If the reseller knows the end user, the end customer, where the licenses need to be installed in, then of course he can reassign the license to the customer's account. And this customer account is where you will activate the license, use the license. If you are a user that needs to manage these different accounts, then you need to be added as an admin into these different accounts. It's no longer user bound, it's company bound. So to complete the picture, every reseller that also uses Cisco equipment has two on its name. For using and for resale. If you're an end user, then you only have the customer account where you can use them. Right? Two differences. Another way of looking at it is comparing the reseller holding account with a parking space. You buy a license, you put it in your parking space until you know the end user. It will not be used. After you know where the end user is or who it is, the, the license will be used. That's a bit of difference. Now, if you take a full picture, let's just have an order of an ISR in this case, then you will see that if you order from, from, uh, from Common Store, the, license, the, the device will be sent from our stock to the end customer's site. That goes directly. After that, the license will also be moved to your holding account as a reseller. Then you log in into CCW. This is the commerce workspace. There you, will, there you will be able to locate orders, smart account orders, and there every order that you have will be sitting and waiting to be reassigned. You click on that order, you click on reassign, type in the name of the end customer, and the license will be transferred into this portal where you will be able to see how many licenses you have, how many devices that are requiring a license. So you'll have everything centralized. It's just a license portal, nothing more than that. How does this one look? So let's take a deeper look in this uh, in a customer's account. If you go to Cisco, uh, if you go to uh, the software support uh, software portal, so software.cisco.com, it looks like this. If you don't have a smart account yet, create one. You can create one for partners, you can create one for end users. If you have one, manage it. Add admins to it, add users to it that can manage the licenses. And of course you can also start to modify your uh, smart account into virtual accounts. This only makes sense if you, uh, if you have different departments that need to manage licenses from one specific customer. If you have that, then you will see at the top that you have a selection between all the different smart accounts that you have the rights of management to. Click on that, you can just jump to the smart account of your choosing and then click on the smart account licensing tab to really have an overview. If you click on that, then you have a nice overview of how many licenses you have, how many devices that you have running that need a license. And then you can always 
check that you are in compliance. The beauty also is that next to the licensing, you can also see the end take the end date until when the licensing uh, license types are running. Because in most cases, most of the licenses that Cisco will bring out from now on will also be uh, subscription based. So it's a very important thing to know when it runs out. So in a nutshell, this is more or less what the licensing in smart accounts can do.